well, I don't, I, I, I don't feel like dealing with that today. I know it's just your one phone call. You know what I'm going to have to do? Hang on a minute. Hey, come on over. Have a seat. Have a seat right there. Lord, what you do to your nails? You, uh-uh. Listen to me, Jimmy. You know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to sell the bass boat. I do not have a $5,000 retainer fee. How many times do we have to go through this? Now, Rhonda's off the table. You are not selling her. That is not even an option. Do you hear this? Uh-uh. It is not my fault. Now, I back up what you did. I totally understand. In the same circumstances, I might have done the same thing, but $5,000 is $5,000, isn't it? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. My client agrees with me. Says no arguing that. Look, I got work to do, okay? Let me think about it. Because I'm not too keen on the thought of selling that bass boat. Because you know right now we'd take a big hit on that. We would have to sell it at a loss. And I'm not too fond of that. You can forget about that tax refund. It's gone, honey. We need a new roof. I'm not spending my tax refund on an attorney's retainer. I gotta go. Okay, go go, go back in there. Just t tell the guard that you need to call me back later. They will, too. You're going to get more than one phone call. You just tell them you need to call me. Tell them Lynette said so. Who is it? Is it Jerry? You tell Jerry to... Uh-uh. No, it, I'm the only reason he made it through algebra. Now, you tell him I said it's okay. Mm -hmm. Tell him who I... He knows who I am. Yeah. He wouldn't be standing there right now. He wouldn't have ever... He wouldn't have finished high school. You tell him you get one more phone call because I said so. And if he has a problem with that, he can come talk to me. Okay. Bye. Lord. I don't don't even don't even ask. You don't even want to know. You don't want to know what's going on now. I know you know about it, Trish. I know you're sick of hearing about it. Quit rolling your eyes at me. She's a little testy today. You are too testy. Look, look at you. you you're, sn you're snarling at me. Oh, you just got something in your teeth. It looks like broccoli. What'd you have for lunch? That was two days ago. Uh, never mind. I don't want to know why. Are you having a good day today? Because I tell you what. The universe is testing me. You, you ever just go through a time like that where it's like, what did I do to irk someone up there like the gods are stirring? What did I do? Because I've done something. And, well, I don't, I mean, I literally done anything. I didn't do anything, but Jimmy sure did. We're talking about doing something. I said I wasn't going to talk about it again. I'm not talking about it. <sighs> nothing to say. Just got to get a lawyer. Other than that, there's nothing to say. Nothing to say. I looked at your notes. You were very vague. No, I'm not mad about it. I just, I, when I was looking at, when you, did you make your appointment online? Don't you love that new online system? I do. What we, you know, because we were getting so many phone calls in here, we had to keep stopping and answer the phone, which, you know, having a bunch of clients is not a problem. But after a while, it's like, you know, you get in the, you get in a rhythm, like I'm working on somebody's nails. They don't want me to have to keep stopping and answer the phone. We don't have a receptionist or anything. I was reading the notes of what you put in there, and all you said was you wanted pink. Now, I know you love your pink. I love mine. Lord knows I do. But you need to be a little more specific. Now, are you looking for a dark pink, a light pink? I mean, like a metallic. What kind of pink are we talking about here? And why are your nails so jacked up? Here, give me that. What have you done to your cuticles? Have you been biting your nails again? You know better than that. What have I... Alright. I'm going to have to work on them. I'm going to nip them and we're going to... We're going to nip them and we're going to push on them. And I want you to stop it. Now, my grandma had the best cure for that. For biting your nails. Put chicken manure under your nails. You won't bite them anymore. Well, you might do it once. You won't do it twice. It's extreme, but it works. Why are you biting your nails? 
something going on with you because you don't normally gnaw them up that bad. Looks like you stuck your hand under a lawnmower or something. They're shredded. Gosh. Here, hold still. Mm-hmm. Well, at least you got the nail polish off. What color have you been wearing on there? Because your nail bed is stained, and I'm going to tell you something that's going to help with that. Why is he calling you? Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Cause, uh, uh No, because he won't get another phone call. That trick's only going to work one time. I mean, algebra's not that hard. Don't Just don't answer it. Don't answer it. It's... It's a, it's a jail. Don't answer it. Don't. He'll just have to call back. I'm busy right now. That hot-headed man. Ain't talking about have a short temper. You know, it's kind of nice being with a passionate person. Except when it comes back to bite him in the butt talks. And that's what happened yesterday. Last night, man, I tell you what. It's getting crazy around here. Well, it, it's just... That's why I say, you know, that the gods up there, somebody is irked with me because it's like everything has converged on me at one time. Okay. You know, you know, Amber Lynn is in fifth grade this year. Well, she thinks she's a big girl. You know, she's convinced that she's a, she's a big girl. And she came to me one day about a week ago. She said, Mom, all of my friends have training bras. She whispered it. She goes, all of my friends have training bras. I don't have any. Can we go get some? <laughs> it was so cute. Oh, I would have gotten a video of it if I'd known she was going to do it. But she's getting to that age where she doesn't want you to do that. She doesn't want you capturing those little moments. So you have to be sneaky about it. Like act like you're holding your phone and you're just doing something else. But you're not. You're getting a video of them being cute. Because they grow up so fast. I swanee they do. I, I I wish I could say I didn't talk much. Wait, why don't you go lay down somewhere? You are a mess today. Did you? What time did you eat? See, I think you need to go down the hall to the vending machine and get you a Snickers bar or something because you're just ornery over there. My drama is not in it, it is not invading the shop. That do you see any drama? I don't see any drama. No, I keep my drama to myself. I am a very private person. I don't ever talk about myself. I don't gossip. I don't talk about anybody. That's the way you're supposed to be. I'm cleaning my own nails. <laughs> They're clean. I don't have cooties. Your cuticles are awful. No offense, but honey, you got to either you got to either start coming in more often, or quit. Sticking them down in the garbage disposal or whatever it is you're doing to them. My stars and garters. Give me that hand. Okay. I want you to run right over there. Do you, uh, the little sink. Go over there. Wash your hands really well. And get some of that cuticle oil and rub it in there. And come back over here. Not seriously, Trish. I may have to leave a little bit early today. No, my last appointment's at 3. So, I mean, you don't need me after that, do you? No, use those little wipes over there. Well, I, I'm i not selling the bass boat. Ultimately, that is not something that's going to take place because I've kind of grown attached to it. See, you can go tubing on the, on the lake with that. I love tubing. Come on back over here. You can bring the towel. Let me see that towel. Now you got the cuticle oil on. Ooh, you got a lot on there. You didn't need that much. It's fine. I just rub off the extra with the towel. Okay. There. All right. No, I got to figure out a plan. I'm thinking about stopping by the bank. I I, I think I may have to take out a loan. I got to get him out of jail. I can't, because Lord knows with everything going on, how long it's going to be before they hear his case. He could be sitting in there for a week or more over this. Oh, don't worry. You'll know all about it. It's going to be on the news tonight. They already had somebody by there to talk to him. 
I heard it's going to be on CNN. Like, it's going to be like this worldwide thing. I think they're blowing it out of proportion. It's not that big of a deal. But they think it's a perfect example of what's going on. I said, no, somebody was just being ugly, and he just didn't appreciate it. That's like, that's that's a Tuesday around here. They act like Jimmy never goes to jail. <laughs> like, honey, if only they knew. Like, Wolf Blitzer, come here, dude. <laughs> Jimmy, can, he's got a card they stamp every time he goes there for something or other. He's getting kicked out of Walmart every other month. <laughs> Half the time he ends up in jail. All right, let me show you some. See this right here? Now, I see. No, don't don't worry about the staining because I'm going to tell you what we're going to do about it. Now, we're not going to worry about getting it out right now. You can use lemon juice, hydrogen peroxide on that. But we're not going to worry about it because um, what we're going to do, we're going to start using, when we do your nails, we're going to use this Revlon Quick Dry Base Coat. Now, it's, it's white in here. Now, the bottle is frosted glass. It doesn't look like that when it comes out. It looks like glue, basically, but it dries really fast. And what it does is it puts a seal between your nail and that polish, and it keeps that color from transferring over and getting onto your nails and staining them. I've been using it on mine. It has worked wonders on my nails. They look a lot better than they did before. Well, thank you. This is actually two different colors. Now, I know you like that really funky purple color. I'm going to show you some shades um, of that weird purple that you like. And I'm also going to show you what I used to make this. Now, this is two different colors put together. I did one, and then I went over the top with another. Now, if you like it, now we can do your nails like that if you want to. It's up to you. What, what are you doing? I mean, is there something special you got going on that you want to get your nails done? It's your anniversary. Oh, did you hear that? That is so sweet. How many, how many, how long? Ten years. Oh, that's a big one then. Lord, I remember when Jimmy and I had our ten-year anniversary. Remember that? We went camping. Yeah. And there were leeches. It kind of got ruined a little bit. Yeah. Leeches and romance just typically don't go together too well. Yeah, I guess under the right circumstances, maybe they do, but they didn't that weekend. It's kind of dampened the mood a little bit. Before I do that, let me file them a little bit. I, no, I, they don't need to be trimmed. They actually look pretty good. I just want to, I just want to even them up a little bit. Hold still. Turn your hand this way. Oh, me and Jimmy been together a lot longer than that. I've had to pull his chestnuts out of the fire way too many times. I tell him all the time, I got too much invested in you now. I can't let you go now. I am too invested. So, um, you want to know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so I was telling you about the universe converging on me and stuff. Okay. So Amberly and wanted a training bra. Well, training bras, plural. Cause she's, you know, she's growing up and you know, her little friends have them and she has no need for it. There's nothing to train, okay? It's mosquito bites, but she insists that she needs training bras. I said, fine. Fine, we'll go get training bras. I said, we'll go by Walmart. I pick you up tomorrow from school, go to Walmart. She said, oh, mama, no, we can't get them at Walmart. Oh, they'll pick on me. You can't buy them at Walmart. No. I said, oh, well, la dee da then. Daddy Warbucks, where are we going to get them? She said, you have to go either to Macy's or Dillard's. I said, are you kidding me? Do you have any idea? I said, I don't even shop there. I can't afford it even with the coupon. And she, you know, she has this big blue eye. She said, Mama, please, you know, I don't ask for much. And it's true. She's so manipulative like that because she doesn't ask for much. And she knows it's true. And she knows that I know it's true. And what can you do? You know, so anyway, I said, well, which one do you want to go to? You want to go to Dillard? You want to go to Macy's? And she said, I don't care. And I said, well, then which one's closer? She said, I don't know. And then she said, hang on a minute. My best friend, her best friend's name's Monica. She said, Monica 
said hers came from Macy's. I said, okay, well, we'll go to Macy's and get you some training rocks. She said, don't say it too loud. Daddy may hear it. I said, Daddy don't care. And she said, don't talk about that around him. I said, okay. So, so we went, we went there and, um, Got her little training bras. Lord, I let her pick them out. She wanted to try them on. They even fitted her. The lady there, she was so sweet. She even fitted her for her training bra. Oh, she was so professional about it. Amber Lynn went on just like she was so grown up. She just had stars in her eyes. She looked at that woman like she was a superstar. Like she was a bra fitting expert. Oh, she was just, mm, she was really impressed. So, hang on a minute. I'm going to put this on there. This is just the base coat, and it dries super fast. So, we bought three training bras. She said, Mom, I need seven. I said, for this price, you don't need seven. You need three or less. And they were not on sale. And I'm not even going to tell you what I paid for them. It was obscene. I got bras didn't cost that much. Most of my bras didn't. Mine come from Walmart, honey. The most expensive bra I got was like $12. But I guess it's a big deal. And, you know, when I remember being that age and my mama just took me to Roses and got whatever they had and some little things like they were made for a baby doll or something. And the, the elastic was shot after they were washed two times. But I felt like a big girl, you know. So anyway, she had the bra and she wanted to make sure to get the one that had the blue bow on it. For some reason, that was important. I don't know if they go in the bathroom and they're looking at one another's training bras. I don't know what they're doing. Well, come find out. She had started going to school. Now she, in the mornings, she'd go in the bathroom and get like a whole roll of toilet paper. And then she, when she got to school, she was unrolling the toilet paper and stuffing her bra with it. So she ended up going through all of our toilet paper. Like, we have no toilet paper that girl, I don't know why her teacher did not call me. There is no way her teacher didn't notice that all of a sudden she went from looking like olive oil to looking like Dolly Parton. Like, did you not notice that she had four pounds of toilet paper in her bra? I don't know I see anything. So anyway, here, do like this. Just like you're flapping your wings. It helps it dry a little faster. So, out of toilet paper. This is not the time to run out of toilet paper. Well, Jimmy, um, he went to the bathroom. He said, Lynette, where's the toilet paper? He said, didn't you do that extreme couponing thing where you bought like 47 cases of toilet paper? I said, yeah, but that was like two years ago. And we'd about used it all up. And then we had used it all up. She killed it off, what little bit we had left. And he said, how did we go through all that toilet paper? I said, well, you got three females in this house. Do the math. I mean, toilet paper does not last. And he grumbled about, you know, all the expense or whatever. And I said, well, you just got to go get some. I'm busy. I was trying to make a pot roast. I said, go get some toilet paper. He said, all right, I'll go, I'll go down to Walmart. So he gets down to Walmart. Now, this is what I heard. Now, I don't know. But he got in there. And apparently, there was hardly any toilet paper left. In fact, by the time he got back to the shelf, there was no toilet paper I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the toilet paper. It's some kind of strange phenomenon. I can talk about toilet paper all I want to. Thank you. Why don't you go rinse some curlers out or something? Dadgummit. Huh? No, I don't. Where are you going? Taco Bell. Why are you, are you pregnant or something? Don't go to Taco Bell. It's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You already ate. I don't care. She canceled. That figures. No, she's just wishy-washy. That's all. I don't like her. No, she... She does her own nails, and I just don't care for her. I don't appreciate it. She comes over here, and she... No, every time she comes in here, she will eyeball all my nail polish and criticize it. And if she finds a bottle with dust on it, she has to talk about it. About how it's dusty. And that somebody ought to clean more often. And she's looking right at me. She is just such a snake. Well, go on to Taco Bell. Can you bring me back? You know what? Can you bring me a chalupa and some cinnamon twists? 
That sounds good to me. You got toilet paper. I hope so. Yeah, Chalupa, cinnamon twists, and a Diet Coke. Diet Pepsi, whatever. That's fine. All right. No, we need to pick your color. See, it's already dry. I touch it. And it's like a miracle, isn't it? This stuff is amazing. And a good thing about this Revlon Quick Dry Base Coat is that it will keep your nail polish from uh, chipping as much. You're going to love it. Just wait and see what I'm talking about. Now, I went through my polishes and I pulled out a bunch. And I thank you. I love these little these little fabric, these little woven totes. I got these. I've been using these to hold my supplies. I got them at Aldi. You get them in a pack of two for five dollars. Aren't they cute? It's like somebody took a rug and just like bastardized it into this little little uh, tub here. So I'm going to show you what I got. I just pulled all the pink and funky purple that I could find. So I'm going to let you choose. Now this, I know it's kind of dark, but this is a really nice kind of a fuchsia, and it's from Pure Ice. You don't like it? Well, darn fine. You don't like it? Now this one is a little bit lighter. If you look at it, this is from Kiss Gel. And they have no imagination, so they don't give these a name. They just have a bunch of letters and numbers for the name. DTGN P05. It's like I'm reading an eye chart. And I'm, I'm becoming more aware every day that I need glasses, but I'm too vain to admit it. What do you think about that color? Now, this is a very true color. When you put this on, it's going to look just like this. Now, some of them, when they dry, tend to go a little darker. This does not. You like that? Okay, I'm going to hang on to that. Now, hang on a second. Now, I do have this one here that's lighter. Now, were you thinking about something more like this? This is Pink Cadillac from Sally Hansen uh, Miracle Gel. It's too light. Well, I think it's perfect for spring, but we don't have to go with that. Let's see. Oh, these are the same. Oh, Lord, I grabbed two that were the same. Never mind that one. We don't need that. Now, there's this one. Now, I want to say in this light, it's going to look kind of peachy. But outside, you will see that it's kind of pink. Where are y'all going for your anniversary? The drive-in. Oh, that's so sweet. Didn't y'all meet there? Your first date was there? That is so sweet. Now, what do you think about that? What are you wearing? What are you going to wear? Okay, jeans and... Just, okay, just sweater. Oh, just a sweater and jeans. Okay. Would, would this, would this, no, it wouldn't go. Okay. That's, hey, that's why I bring them all up here. I want, I want you to see. Now, this one is not, it's not really pink. I love it, though. There's just a hint of pink to this. Now, this is Revlon. It's called Gilded Goddess. And it's, it's beautiful. It's very opaque. And when you mix it up, you'll see the, you see that it has a little hint of pink to it. Um, but what do you think of that? No, you're stuck on pink. Well, I got some of that weird purple in here too. Now this is a this is a uh, veil here. This is um, very transparent. It's just going to add a a hint of a holographic shimmer over whatever you pick if you're interested in like a veil over your color. No. Well, I just thought you might want something special. Before I get into the funky purples, let me show you what I did on mine. Now, this is um, Pretty Woman Nail Polish. Now, I started with this, of course. I did the base coat first. And then I went over it with this Pretty Woman Nail Polish. I do not know the color name. See, it comes in a box. And the color name is on the box. And I threw the box away. I never remember. I need to start putting it on, you know, like writing it on the lid or something. So I start with one coat of that. And then after that dries, I go over it with one coat of this right here. This is a really cool holographic glitter from LA Colors. And it's called Icicles number four, uh, 34. It's very transparent, translucent or whatever. Um, and it adds just a little bit of sparkle to this right here. Now, this is kind of a funky purple. It's like a lilac color. 
It's not quite that weird purple that you're so obsessed with, but I did one coat of the icicles over it. And then, of course, I went with the Sally Hansen big quick, top, quick dry top coat over it after everything dries. And the good thing about it is these all dry super fast. Like, you won't even believe how fast they dry. Just, just like that. Boom. Dry. So, are you interested in this? No, honey, these are not fake nails. These are my nails. Feel them. Feel them. Look at them. That's real. Those are real, baby. Those are my real nails. Now, there's not really any secret other than, I guess, genetics or whatever. I have always had super thick fingernails. I can grow them as long as I want. And they just, they typically do not break. The only problem I have is my enemy is laundry baskets for some reason. Let me tell you something. Last weekend, me and Jimmy went out and we put out 20 bags of mulch. I did not break a single nail. And then I mowed the yard and I used the weed eater and I pulled weeds. I did all kinds of work in the yard. Did not break a single nail. I was impressed with that. But I think this base coat also helps protect my nails. And um, I think it helps keep them strong. But uh, the only problem is, too, when I'm carrying a basket of laundry, it has these holes in it. And it's like every now and then when I go to set it down, a nail will get kind of hung in it. And when I go to set it down, it basically just rips the nail off. It's very painful. Very painful. I've lost a couple of nails to that laundry basket over the years. But it's not cracked or anything, so I can't justify getting rid of it and getting another laundry basket. It's a quandary. I think is that what I, is that what I mean a quandary Qu quarantine quandary I don't know it's some one of those five dollar words it's a mess it's a problem I'm so I, Jimmy's got me stressed he's got me stressed I can't think straight I'm gonna eat that chalupa and no cinnamon twists maybe that'll calm me down a little bit I need it. Now, this is, now this to me is the closest to that goofy purple that you like. And when I say that, I don't mean it in a bad way. It's just that you like weird purple. It's like a weird shade. It's not royal purple. It's not pastel. It's just goofy. Like whatever this is. This is pure ice and it's called playful purple. I know it's not pink, but I'm trying to give you options here. And this one is very similar. This has a little bit more blue in it. This is from LA Colors, Color Craze, and it's called Fun in the Sun. You don't like that one? Is it because it's LA Colors? Are you snobby like that? Because I'm not. I don't care. If I see a color I like, I don't care if it's LA Colors or not. 98 cent bottle. If it's a color I like, I'll get it. Now here's one that's a little lighter, and this one is called Manicorn. I actually gave this one a name. Now it is a little lighter and it's neither one of these is pink but I'm trying to give you options. And then I have another veil from Pure Ice and it's a new shade. Now this this um, looks really pretty over anything really but especially blues, pinks, and purples. I want you to just keep that in mind. And as far as pink goes I have this really pretty pink glitter nail polish from Sally Hansen Mega Strength, and it's called Lady Millionaire. Now, I think this is perfect for your anniversary. I think this would look so pretty. Look how sparkly it is. And under those lights out there at the drive-in, this is going to look so good. So what are you thinking? You want to go? You don't want the weird purple at all? Okay. Well, so you said you like this one, the one with all the letters and numbers, the eye chart. And then we have Lady Millionaire. What do you think? You want to go with this one? Do you want to do the veil over it? I don't think I'd use that one. How about... Where'd it go? What if we go over it with a little bit of this? Now that is just going to give it a very subtle sparkle, like I have on mine. No, I'm telling you, it makes it pretty. Well, no matter what I do, I always go with the same top coat. 
I always go with this right here. Now, I did used to use the Revlon. You're right, the quick dry top coat. But I decided to switch to this because I found this dries faster. It's just as shiny. It works just as well, and it's a little cheaper. So I have switched to that. It does seem to be just as effective. And it dries even faster than the Revlon, which is really good. So I can get you in and out even faster. Okay. Alrighty. So anyway. Okay, Jimmy was up at Walmart. No, they let him back in. They finally dropped all the charges. It was really sweet of them to do that. I've gotten to know the managers very well over the years. And had one of them over for dinner and, you know, explained the whole thing about the propane tanks. And he didn't mean it. And... They agreed to drop the charges this time, but well, now he's getting it from them and somebody else because of what happened. Now, let me tell you. All right, so he goes in there for, for toilet paper. There was none. Like, there was no toilet paper in the whole store. I don't know. Some craziness. Oh, still. Darn, this will look good with what I got on. Look. How pretty would that be? Mm-hmm. I'm not changing mine. I, I just did these up. I'm not, I'm not changing them now. So while he was, he was just standing there, just dumbfounded, looking at the shelves, like what the what? And all of a sudden, this employee came from the back, and he was wheeling this flatbed thingamabob, and it had toilet paper on it, like a whole pallet of toilet paper, and it was shrink wrapped. Well, all of a sudden, like a herd of zombies, all these people came running from every which way. And they came running up. That poor employee, he dove for cover like he was saving his own life. Oops, I messed up. I got excited. I got it. Well, Jimmy grabbed one pack of toilet paper. And this woman came running up with her cart. She had one of those giant carts from Costco. Like every now and then they wheel it over and it just got left there. It's weird how you find different shopping carts in, in, in some shopping centers. It's like, that store is five miles from here. How'd that shopping cart end up over here? You know they're not going to go fetch it. Nobody over there is that dedicated. So this woman had this big fat shop, uh, Costco cart. She already had like 27 packs of toilet paper in there that she had grabbed off that pallet. I'm telling you, he said they ran up there and just were ripping that shrink wrap off like wild animals, like rabid raccoons or something. Just a snarling and tearing. He said they were snarling and growling. Sounded like a bunch of animals ripping that thing open and just grabbing up the toilet paper. And he said, I'm standing there going, I actually need some toilet paper. I just need a pack of toilet paper. And he had one. The whole pallet had been cleared. And this woman with his fat cart comes running up to him and snatched it out of his hands. And he said, you give me that back. You've already got 50 pounds of toilet paper. And she called him an ugly name. And then her husband came up. Well, we found out later he was a husband. First, he thought it was just some random person. Came running up and said, you don't talk to her that way. And you know how Jimmy is. You, you get in his face and he's pointing at him. You don't get in Jimmy's face. So he just loses it. That's what happened in the propane incident. Mm. So Jimmy said, you don't get in my face. And next thing you know, there's fists flying everywhere. And Jimmy went to hit the man and it was like something out of an old movie or something. The man ducked and he swung, Jimmy swung, hit that woman square in the nose, just knocked her out. She landed as bam. He said it sounded like a giant mannequin hitting the floor. He said it was the most sick, sickening sound you ever heard, the sound of her just going thud on that hard floor. And everybody in there just stopped. He said it was like a record scratch. And everybody just, oh boy. And then they all scattered like cockroaches when the lights come on. They grabbed their toilet paper and they ran. And somebody even took her cart because they were distracted, right? She's on the floor. Her husband's standing there just freaking out. And Jimmy's going, oh, Lord, here we go. So he just went on up front and got Michael, the manager, the one that we had dinner with, said, Michael, I did it again. And Michael said, damn it, Jimmy, I'm going to tell you something. 
I hate to use foul language, but that's just I'm quoting Michael. He said, that's what he said. You can't keep doing this. He said, I know. He said, I'm going to call the cops. He said, I know. So, the local news got, got word of it, and apparently somebody made a video of the whole incident. And you can clearly see Jimmy just cold cocked that woman. Thing was, we actually needed toilet paper. We just wanted some toilet paper because our daughter is growing up and decided she needed boobies. I mean, it was that simple. It just got blown out of proportion. So anyway, Jimmy's in jail, and I don't have the money for an attorney. No, you got to get somebody good. See, I was going to get Miss Wayne Scott to do it. Now, she's the best in all of Camden County. But she's not cheap. Let me see that pinky. Turn it this way. All right, stick them under the little dryer. Pull it around this way to you. Pull it. Get them under there. Here. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? Do you, you want a drink or anything? I got some drinks in the refrigerator. I have water, Diet Coke, and I think there's some of those nasty green teas left if you want one of those. To me, they taste like the water out of a minnow bucket. They're just awful. So I'm thinking, no, Jimmy. Jimmy's first idea was just sell a bass boat. Just sell a bass boat and you'll get the money. Nobody wants to buy a bass boat right now. And I want to go tubing later. And I can't go tubing without a bass boat. We got a rowboat, but it's kind of hard to go tubing behind a rowboat. I mean, Jimmy's strong, but he ain't that strong. I just don't think he could keep up. We don't have an outboard motor. We got oars. Yeah, it would be challenging. So, well, no, no, the woman's fine. The woman's fine. He did knock her out. She was just KO'd on the floor out there near the Tide Pods. She was just out like a light. No, we never did get our toilet paper. No, fortunately, our neighbor heard about what happened. She knew about it before anybody even contacted me. Jimmy didn't get to come home. No, they took him straight in and booked him. They got him They got him in county lockup tonight. I have not seen him. No, um, he was able to call me on his cell phone while they were waiting for the cops to come get him. And they put him in handcuffs, and somebody got a video of him being walked out in handcuffs again. I want to put together a best of video of him walking out of there in handcuffs. It's really starting to get out of control. So, Amber Lynn has now stretched out her bras, her little training bras from stuffing so much toilet paper in them. And see what she would do before she came home on the bus every day. She'd pull it all out and throw it away. She could have at least come, you know, brought it home and put it back on the roll or something. So she threw away pounds and pounds of toilet paper every day. Her little training bra said, I spent an ungodly amount of money on her stretched out. Completely just saggy. Looks like an old lady. You know, like the, never mind, like hanging baskets, kind of like that. And, uh. Kind of like a woman, you know, you, you see these women jogging all the time. They have on their jogging bras, and they don't get enough support. And those those boobies are just flopping up and down like they're going to get knocked out. It's going to hit them under the chin sometime and, you know, just cold cock them, kind of like Jimmy did. I need more support. Sometimes I just want to pull over and talk to these women and say, Honey, you need a better bra. You want to know why your boobs sag. That's not helping any. They're just, you know, they're waving hello to everybody that passes you as you jog. That is not good for them. Anyway, that's what her training bras look like. And she said, Mom, I need more. I said, you're not getting more. You are out of your mind. You're going to grow into them. And in the meantime, I better not hear about you stuffing them with anything else. If you do stuff them, at least use something reusable like some socks or something. But the toilet paper's gone. And now your daddy's in jail. And I don't know what we're going to do. I don't have $5,000 for a retainer. But fortunately, our neighbor heard about it because somebody was there and told them. And they brought us some toilet paper, bless their hearts. They brought us <laughs> like three rolls of toilet paper. I really appreciated that. You what? Oh, no. Yeah, hey. This is, no, this is lotion. Look. 
this this is the best lotion right here. It's called uh, it's from Tokyo Milk. It's called Neptune and the Mermaid. This is the best lotion. You know what it smells like? It smells just like daffodils. Here, look. It does. I can't I can't do it to you right now because you got nail polish on. I don't want to mess it up. You can have some when you're done. Smell that. Then it, it smells just like daffodils. Mm -hmm. It's like sniffing a daffodil. Oh, it's beautiful. I don't think it's supposed to smell like daffodils, but it sure does. I love this stuff right here. Yeah, it's from Tokyo Milk. It's um, awesome. I love it. It's almost to me, it's like aromatherapy. Like it makes me think of, makes me think of springtime. Oh, Symphony's fine. Yeah, I have not seen her much. She's been a little mad at me. I was helping her coordinate an outfit the other day, and I told her her feather boa clashed with the hat that she had picked out. And I don't know why she's so moody lately, but she told me to leave. She did. She told me to leave. She said, just get out. And then we have this stuff with Jimmy. I tell you, it's like the whole world has just turned its back on me. And Trish is grumpy. I don't know why everybody's so irritable lately. It's like everybody just needs a, you know, good BM or something. I don't know. Everybody's grabby. I'm trying to be bright and cheerful. I got all my colorful earrings and all my pink and just trying to make everybody feel good. And it's not doing a bit of good. Not one bit. I even color coordinated my little bracelets and nobody cares. Trish's been so mad she hadn't even complimented me on my outfits all week. I don't know how to feel about that. So anyway, I'm I'm just gonna go by the bank and see if they'll give me a loan. I don't know what else to do. And then Jimmy has the nerve to go, Well, we can sell Rhonda my left foot. He can sit in jail and rot for the next two weeks for all I care. But they've got the court shut down. They're not hearing cases right now, and I don't know how long that's going to be, and he's just going to have to sit in there, because they've got him on assault, and he's a repeat offender. I mean, he's done so many things in there. There was the propane incident, and then there was that thing on the toy aisle. I don't even want to think about that. That thing, that thing at Christmas time, you remember that? That was a complete misunderstanding, though. I don't want to hear it. Mm. And then there was the paint. My God, the paint. I don't want to think about that one either. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go see if I can get alone. And Rhonda's not going anywhere. She's been grazing in the neighbor's yard lately. They, um, Their lawnmower died. And they actually came to me and said, Can Rhonda hang out at our place and eat the grass? I said, Does it have anything on it? Do you spray chemicals or any? Do you don't? Sprite and no, no, it'll be fine. It's totally organic. She can have all she wants. So we haven't had to buy a whole lot of feed for her. I still get her hay and stuff, and she has her supplements from the vet. Um, she has a little bit of case of rickets or something like rickets. I don't know what rickets are exactly. It sounds like a shingle you put on your house, but apparently it's not. And shingles sounds like shingles, but apparently that's a different thing, too. My grandmother had that, and I still don't understand what it is. But I did learn it didn't have anything to do with roofs, and that was an embarrassing conversation that I had there, and it really highlighted the fact that I am ignorant about many topics. What was I saying? Oh, rickets, yeah. So, yeah, she has a, a case of some kind of bovine rickets or whatever i don't know anyway we have a supplement for that but anyway she's been eating grass and she's doing wonderfully everything's good with her i just got to get jimmy out of jail i think once i do that we'll be getting somewhere and amber lynn if she just calmed down you know and just quit trying to grow up so dang fast i think we'd really be getting somewhere okay you can pull them out how are things going with you i haven't even asked how you are Except for your anniversary, I still think that's wonderful. Hey, 10 years, most people don't make it that long. I got a friend right now, she's on her fourth husband. You believe that? Mm. They keep dying on her. I think it's a real coincidence that they all keep passing away. She offered to make me some food and I just didn't feel right taking it. I mean, 
I just see a little bit of a, <laughs> I'm seeing a pattern. So I told her just no thank you. I said, I'm on a diet and I don't want to die. I'm just doing the top coat now. Look at that shine. Oh, look at that. And it'll stay that way too. When it dries, it will look just as good as that. You'll see. We're going to get it on there. You stick it back under the dryer. You are not going to believe your eyes when you bring it out. I know. I'm amazed. Do it this way. Hang on a minute. No, I, I messed up on this one here. Just can you spread your fingers apart just a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Now you very carefully just think you know how to do it. There you go. That's just gonna take a minute, if that. So anyway, I gotta get Jimmy out of jail again. I don't know when the hearing's going to be, but if I can at least bail him out, the bail's $5,000, and I need $5,000 for the attorney. I think if I can go ahead and retain the the attorney, we might be able to work on that bail. I know the judge, he's pretty, um, he's pretty understanding about this kind of thing. You know, if I could just get a chance to talk to him and explain what's going on, with uh with Amber Lynn. Maybe it would help. Do you think it would help? I mean, maybe if he has kids he would understand how ridiculous it can get sometimes. And I mean this is only like the fifth time that, you know, Jimmy's gotten arrested in the Walmart. It's not like it's that bad. I mean it's you remember Brock? No Br Brock B R O C K. Remember he we went to school with him. Remember he he was always wearing that same brown hoodie every day, even in the, you know, hot weather. You know, he's been arrested in that Walmart 27 times. So I figure we're doing pretty good. I mean, I don't know. After that last time, he actually went off and joined the circus. And the last I heard, he was barking for the yak woman somewhere in Wyoming or something. Maybe he's turned his life around. I'm not sure. So I figure as long as, as we don't break Brock's record, we're doing pretty good. So life is good. Life is good. If I could just get my five thousand dollars. Here, take them out. No, let me touch them. That way, if they get messed up, it'll be my fault. Yeah, they're good. Here, have have some of this lotion. Just a little bit. That smell good. Oh, it's a nice scent, and it really hangs in there, too. You know, some lotions, you put them on, and, and it just kind of fades, you know. This lotion's awesome. I love it. Now, what do you think of that color? Mm-hmm. I know, isn't it pretty? It's going to look so good. It's going to look so good. I hope y'all have a good time. Yeah, well, well it, tell them I said, hey, and we need to get together sometime. We need to do, like, a cookout. We need to do another cookout. We haven't done one in ages. When was the last time we did one? Lord, last time we did one, Amber Lynn was a toddler. Yeah, we're way overdue. We got to do that. Hmm. Oh, it's just two for today. Yep, two. It's, don't worry about it. Got it? Oh, all right. Thank you. perfect oh and it's quilted is this Charmin ah oh, this is Charmin extra soft isn't it oh this is the good kind thank you so much you got a tip honey you don't have to give me a tip don't even worry about it I just want you to go have fun oh, thank you oh that's a nice tip thank you so much I really appreciate it you are a sweetheart I just love you to death you're too good to me. I swear. I wish all my clients were as good as you. Yeah, well, you too. I hope you and I hope y'all have a wonderful night. Do you want to book your next appointment now or you want to wait? Uh, give me a call tomorrow or you could go online and do it. Either one. I don't care. Actually, call me because I want to hear how your date went. Okay. You don't have to give me all the details, but you know, I want to hear if y'all had a good time or not. What, do you, what movie are you going to see? Oh, I heard that was good. No, I haven't seen it. 
Well, don't spoil it for me because I might, you know, I might want to go if I can afford it. I may end up in jail myself trying to get $5,000, but we won't worry about that right now. If it works out with the bank, it'll be fine. I won't have to do anything too sketchy. But anyway, yeah, y'all have fun. And thank you again for my tip. That was real sweet. I hope y'all have a great time. Okay.